Huge shout out to our executive producer for this month, Tom Dolan. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to the bonus episode of the Reading Positions Encoding Decoding video of the Media Theory series. If you haven't watched the proper one yet, the link is over there, I believe, um, or down there, it'll be down there. We're going to go through some examples of some uh, reading positions and some different text positions. Um, I've got a couple of examples here, but again, like, I want you to go and do your own reading, taking what we've learnt in the previous video and, and, and in these couple of examples. and. I'm going to take, first of all, I'm going to take a a very, very dominant text, and that text is Animal Crossing. Now, Animal Crossing is a dominant, dominantly positioned text because it doesn't present any radical ideas, it doesn't present anything that uh, escapes the norm, as it were, like everything, like there is still capitalism, there is still, it is still very sort of hegemonic, everything is basically as it is here, but a bit more chibi and with animals. And one of the more oppositional reading positions that you can take with that piece is Flick and CJ are a gay couple. Now, it's clear that a lot of people have taken this position, and there's a really good video on Transparency's channel. Again, I'll put, a, I'll put an eye card for that up about uh, queer readings in Animal Crossing and just in general. And the, the oppositional reading, well, one of the oppositional readings you can take from these two characters in this game is that they are a gay couple. There's examples of them living together, they they reference each other quite a lot, they speak quite fondly of each other, and obviously a lot of people talked about them as if they were a couple. Now, the the sort of the oppositional reading to that oppositional reading is this is taking this here and saying, well, that they are roommates and business partners, that means they cannot be a couple, but me and my husband are roommates and business partners. We live in the same room and we own a business together, so that's not really a... But the law is not really important when we're talking about the reading of the piece. This is... People clinging onto this, isn't, it's it's not important. What's important is is the reading, because as we know, one of the lessons I'm teaching in the first two episodes, all readings are equal readings. Um, so this is like the main example that I can think of, of such a, such a like, I don't want to say milk toast text, because there's not a lot in Animal Crossing, like... Even the even like the aspects of capitalism that they maintain, they they dull them down and dull them down because they have to be approachable game mechanics um, and easy game mechanics. Animal Crossing is not a hard game, so this is kind of the only oppositional reading position I can find in the text. This is this is an example of a dominant position. It's not always disagreeing with like political opinions or anything, it's just sort of seeing something that wasn't intended that kind of goes against the grain of, of the of the text. So uh, Sam and Frodo being a gay couple, again, it's another thing Transparency brings up in that video, would be another sort of oppositional reading because it wasn't intended by Tolkien and it was written as a, like, from what I understand, it was written as a just two friends kind of thing. Now, uh, let's move on to a slightly more oppositional text. This is a video called A Crap Guide to d and It is officially, like, like officially it is a, uh, Joe Cap plays a character called Joe Crap, and Joe Crap um, kind of just shits on D&D a lot in this video, and the, the, the oppositional reading there is basically the game that you like is bad, um, but, like, it's still going to be played, but the game that you like is bad. So like this is this like as as he is a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, it is an oppositional reading because he's saying like all of the all of the sort of the mainstream opinions are bad and every like all of the the systems in the game are bad also. Like but the the dominant reading like the the, the intended reading of this text is it's satire. It's a character. There's even like there's even a disclaimer at the beginning here that it is in fact satire, but there is there is an oppositional reading of this oppositional piece, which is to take it seriously, and to believe wholeheartedly the opinions that are expressed in this video. Um, it's weird that like the oppositional reading is is agreeing with it, but in actuality, because it is satire, and satire is, is an odd segment of this kind of thing to disagree with it is to agree with it in a weird way. It's 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 kind of hard to to explain, but I hope you understand where, where I'm coming from. So so this is a good example of an oppositional text with with uh, a negotiated reading that is a little bit different. Um, 
and that's the these those are the only two I'm going to talk about in this video. I know it's, I know it's one a little bit shorter than the last one, but um, reading positions is so sort of vague that it's easier for you to experience um, like by watching a piece, by reading a piece, by by building your own reading of a piece, and then going and seeing if it was what the creators intended. Because it's all about reflections of what the creator intended and where that creator sits in the the hegemony, um, and yeah, so that's that's sort of a, a more a little, little bonus piece on reading positions. Next time we're going to be talking about narratology, so we're going to be talk we're going to be moving from the um, the readings of the piece to more the structure of the piece. So that will be coming out soon, um, but I'm, I might start spreading these videos out a bit more with other projects peppered in because I've got some other ideas for videos that, that I'm rather excited to work on. So um, the next video you see might not be a media theory video, but there will be more media theory videos coming. Um, and transition into the outro. Thank you to everyone for your support on Patreon. Those, those of you make this video possible. Special shout out to the fresh cheese bags of the month. Carl Rod, Ethan Saffron, What Would Jedi Do, The Magpie Magus, Neurotic Anarchy, Malloy, Alex Bryson, and Swishy Clang. And a huge thank you to our executive producer for this month, Tom Dolan. Love you, bye.